Mixing in microfluidics is a fascinating challenge because unlike stirring a cup of coffee or shaking a test tube, fluids at the micro scale flow in an orderly laminar fashion, meaning they don't naturally swirl or blend due to the dominance of viscous forces over inertial forces. So how do scientists ensure that tiny droplets of reagent cells or chemicals mix properly inside microchannels? One widely used approach is passive mixing, where the microchannels design alone facilitates mixing. For instance, serpentine channels force fluids to take a winding path, increasing the interaction time between molecules, while herringbone structures, <laughs> microscopic ridges on the channel walls, uh, create chaotic flows, helping molecules diffuse faster. Another passive technique is droplet-based mixing, where small discrete droplets of liquid are generated and circulated internally, much like shaking a tiny vial to enhance reaction efficiency. But what if mixing needs to be faster, more controlled, or programmable? This is where active mixing comes into play, using external forces to drive fluid motion. For example, electrokinetic mixing leverages electric fields to move and stir charged particles, while acoustic mixing uses high-frequency sound waves to create pressure fluctuations that rapidly agitate the fluid. A particularly fascinating method is magnetic mixing, where tiny super-paramagnetic beads suspended in the fluid are manipulated using an external magnet, mimicking how a magnetic stir bar mixes solutions in a laboratory flask. Have you ever noticed bubbles vigorously moving liquid around in a boiling pot? A similar concept is bubble, bubble gust mixing, where controlled gas bubbles oscillate and stir the surrounding liquid, efficiently blending fluids without any mechanical moving parts. Microfluidic mixing is crucial for medical diagnostics, drug discovery, chemical synthesis, and even food science. In point-of-care diagnostic devices, efficient mixing ensures that a drop of blood or saliva reacts quickly with detection reagents, leading to faster disease diagnosis. In drug development, controlled microfluidic mixing enables precise reaction conditions, reducing waste and improving yield. Food scientists even use microfluidic mixing to study the behavior of emulsions, such as improving the texture and stability of low-fat dressings and dairy products. What if we could make microfluidic mixers even smarter? Researchers are now using AI-drip designs to optimize mixing in real time, allowing lab-on-a-chip devices to self-exec based on fluid properties, temperature, and reaction progress. Could this be the future of personalized medicine and automated chemistry? With continuous advancements, microfluidic mixing is paving the way for faster, more efficient, and highly miniaturized chemical and biological processes. <laughs> Mixing in microfluidic systems is challenging due to the dominance of laminar flow, where fluids move in parallel layers without turbulence. Unlike macroscopic mixing, which relies on turbulent eddies, microfluidic mixing primarily depends on diffusion and chaotic advection. Efficient mixing is crucial for chemical reactions, biological assays, and nanoparticle synthesis, where reaction efficiency and uniformity depend on rapid and controlled fluid interaction. In Labanon chip devices, effective mixing ensures uniform reagent distribution in PCR, <laughs> polymerase chain reaction, assays for DNA amplification. Mixing in microfluidics is like stirring honey in cold tea. Without turbulence, it relies on diffusion to distribute the molecules. Diffusion-based mixing occurs naturally as molecules move from regions of high concentration to low concentration, driven by Brownian motion. In microchannels, the absence of turbulence means that molecular diffusion is often the dominant mixing mechanism, which is effective for small molecules but slow for larger biomolecules. The mixing efficiency depends on channel length, flow rate, and molecular diffusivity, making diffusion suitable for low-flow microfluidic applications. <laughs> Diffusion-based mixing is used in microfluidic gradient generators to study cellular responses to chemical signals. This process is like ink slowly spreading in water without stirring, eventually mixing but requiring time. Passive micromixers use microchannel designs such as serpentine, herringbone, or staggered structures to enhance mixing without external energy input. These designs create chaotic advection, which stretches and folds fluid streams, increasing interfacial contact and promoting faster diffusion. By strategically engineering channel geometry, researchers can achieve rapid and uniform mixing while maintaining a compact design. <laughs> staggered herringbone micromixers. <laughs>
improve reagent mixing and point-of-care diagnostic devices, reducing reaction times for faster test results. Passive micromixers work like kneading dough, folding, and stretching layers together to distribute ingredients evenly. Active micromixers use external fields such as electric, magnetic, acoustic, or thermal forces to induce fluid movement and enhance mixing. These methods introduce localized perturbations that disrupt laminar flow, enabling rapid and tunable mixing in microchannels. Although active mixing requires additional power sources, it offers precise control over reaction conditions and is ideal for complex biochemical applications. AC electrosmotic micromixers accelerate immunoassay reactions in microfluidic chips, reducing analysis time for disease detection. Active mixing is like shaking a bottle of salad dressing. External energy quickly homogenizes the contents. Hydrodynamic focusing lever leverages controlled sheath flow to confine and manipulate the diffusion of a central stream, allowing precise mixing and reaction timing. This technique is particularly useful for rapid kinetic studies, where reagents must be introduced in a highly controlled manner. The ability to adjust flow rates enables precise mixing ratios for applications such as single cell analysis and biochemical screening. Hydronamic focusing is used in microfluidic flow cytometry to align and mix cells for high throughput put analysis in biomedical research. This technique is like using water jets to shape and direct a dye stream, controlling its diffusion for precise coloring. Taylor dispersion exploits the interaction between molecular diffusion and velocity gradients in microchannels, leading to enhanced mixing. In pressure-driven flows, solutes experience stretching effects due to velocity variations, increasing the rate of molecular diffusion. This phenomenon is widely used in analytical chemistry to improve sample dispersion and reduce concentration gradients. Taylor dispersion enhances sample mixing in microfluidic drug screening platforms, ensuring consistent exposure across reaction zones. This effect is like stretching a rubber band. The more it elongates, the faster its color spreads uniformly. Chaotic advection occurs when microchannel structures introduce non-repeating flow patterns that fold and stretch fluid layers, significantly improving mixing efficiency. This approach is commonly implemented in three-dimensional microfluidic networks where staggered obstacles or curved paths disrupt linear flow. Compared to pure diffusion, chaotic advection drastically reduces mixing times while maintaining low power consumption. DNA hybridization assays use chaotic advection to enhance molecular interaction rates in genetic analysis chips. Chaotic advection is like scrambling an egg. Constant movement breaks and mixes components efficiently. In digital microfluidics, discrete droplets act as microreactors where mixing is achieved through controlled merging and splitting, this approach enables rapid reaction kinetics and precise reagent manipulation, making it ideal for portable diagnostic devices. Electrowetting, magnetic actuation, and acoustic forces can be used to dynamically control droplet interactions, ensuring homogeneity. Digital microfluidics is employed in automated blood analysis systems to mix patient samples with diagnostic reagents for real-time testing. Droplet-based mixing is like shaking a capsule of liquid. Controlled agitation blends the contents instantly. Efficient microfluidic mixing is crucial for advancing lab-on, chip technologies, synthetic biology, and precision medicine. The integration of AI-driven fluidic control and multi-phase mixing strategies will enhance reaction efficiency and enable autonomous chemical processing. Future developments will focus on adaptive mixing strategies that respond to real-time environmental conditions, further improving microfluidic performance in industrial and biomedical applications. AI-assisted microfluidic mixers optimize drug formulations in personalized medicine by dynamically adjusting reagent concentrations. Future microfluidic mixers will function like self-suggesting coffee machines, automatically fine-tuning ingredient ratios for optimal results.